from Patterns for Pirates, and I'm just going to talk about some of the supplies that you'll need for the Fierce Bra. Um, one of the most unusual things that I picked was the one inch fold over elastic. Usually you see it in 5 8 inch width. It's the most common and definitely the easiest to find. But the one inch will give you a lot more support on your shoulders and bust for a bra. I really highly preferred it. And so I thought it was worth maybe not being able to find such cute prints and things for the more comfortable support that you get. I'm going to show you two different kinds that generally I have been able to find. This is a one inch fold over elastic and it is exactly what you would think of the 5 eighths elastic that you generally see in a local store. It's very thin. Um, it's smooth on the front and the back. Um, this only gives you more support than the thicker one because it's thicker but still much nicer than the teeny, teeny, tiny strap that you would get with a 5 8 fold over elastic. So again, this is thin, it's very stretchy, um, and it's smooth on the front and the back. Now my favorite kind, um, I have only been able to find at my local Joann's. It's a Dritz brand, one inch fold over elastic. It does not say anything special other than fold over elastic. Um, I have looked and looked trying to find something exactly the same as this. It doesn't say that it's special or different other than one inch fold over elastic, but it feels much different in my eyes. It's got a smooth side on the right side and then the wrong side, hopefully you can see, looks much more like a woven elastic. It's much thicker than a normal 5 8 fold over elastic or the purple one that I just showed. It gives much more support. It's got a lot of recovery and it's just thicker in general. So it helps hold the ladies up much better in my mind. I really prefer this one. They only have it in black and white. Um, so if you really want fun colors, you might be able to search it and if you find it, put it in the group and tag me because I want it. <laughs> I have only been able to find it at my local Joann's in black and white, but it is much, much thicker and more supportive in my eyes. It's absolutely my favorite if you're going for a true sports bra that's gonna give you that medium impact support, I highly recommend this kind. If you're going for more of like um, a lounge bra, the thinner kind is perfectly fine and you're gonna be comfortable. All right, the other materials you might need are your main, your main fabric. If you're going for like a loungewear top, cotton spandex would be my favorite. I also used a rim knit too, but it doesn't have quite the recovery so I really preferred the cotton spandex for a nice lounge set. For a sports bra, any kind of athletic fabric that is your favorite, a suplex would work really great. Um, that happens to be my favorite. I love a nylon spandex. So anything that you prefer for an athletic legging would work phenomenal for the sports bra. You need that high stretch. You need it to be horizontal and vertical stretch, but those are all things that you need for leggings as well. So if you love a certain type of fabric for leggings, you're probably going to love it for the sports bra as well. Um, another thing that you might want if you're making a medium impact sports bra would be a power mesh. I do recommend using a power mesh versus a power net. You still want some vertical stretch. This isn't designed to be a high impact sports bra. And so it still needs the vertical stretch to fit properly. So a power mesh is what I would um, recommend for inner lining. For lining, you can just use the same type of fabric as your main. You can, another popular one is like a swim um, lining. A lot of um, testers liked that and used that. Um, and you can get it um, a lot less inexpensive than your main fabric, so it's a really good choice for lining as well. Last but not least, you'll need your underbust elastic. It's an exposed elastic, meaning you can see the entire elastic. Um, 
And I'm just going to show you a few of my favorites and what you would search for if you were in a store or online. Um, this is one that I really love for my daughter. Um, it's a plush back elastic, meaning the back is brushed and soft. And it's just got little scallops. And I think it's super cute. And I searched for plush back elastic. Um, it'll be with the bra making fabrics and supplies. In an online shop, and a local shop, it will just be with the other elastics. Another thing I really like to use, especially for a loungewear set, is underwear elastic. It's really soft, it's really stretchy, and it's really cute. So this is underwear elastic. I picked another plush back to show you just because I thought it showed the plush back really well. It's very brushed and plush. And so you can tell it's really soft on the inside. This works really well for um, a lounge set or a sports bra. I like it for both. Um, for me as an adult, I tend to do thicker elastics for when I want more support. And so if I'm doing like a lounge set, I could do like an inch wide elastic and be fine. If I'm using it for workout wear, I really tend to go for inch and a half, even sometimes a, a two inch um, would be fine. In the tutorial, I suggest one to one and a half just to keep it nice and simple. Um, you could really do any width elastic. It's just whatever your personal preference is on how much support you like. And so I wouldn't recommend going smaller than an inch on an adult because even in a loungewear set, you're probably going to feel like it's pretty flimsy if it's less than that. Um, and I probably wouldn't go bigger than a two inch just because that's really going to start hitting much lower than you're going to want when you're doing twists and turns and things like that. But anything in between would work great, depending on whatever your preference is. Another thing you can find is soft waistband elastic. I found this locally in my Joanne. It's a Dritz brand as well. So same as my favorite fold over elastic. It's really soft to the touch, much softer than your average like non-roll elastic or woven elastic. Last but not least, I found this online. And it's a navy elastic, but the back side has um, like silicone or rubber. And so it's not going to budge. It's not going to move. Um, it's only an inch wide. So I actually prefer a little bit wider for my sports bras. But since it's got that silicone, I know it's not going to move at all. And so I really feel like this would be phenomenal for a real workout sports bra. So that is out there if you're interested in it. And that's all you need. You can also get um, cups if you would like removable cups. They're nice and easy to search. You can switch, search bra cups, swim cups, foam cups. Um, and you can get them in a wide array of sizes. Um, I will mention that the cups aren't like a molded bra. I see a lot that they're expected to do a lot. Really, all it is is a little tiny piece of foam that's going to give you a little more coverage in the center area. Um, things like when you're cold or things like that. That's really what the cups are for, to give you that extra coverage of foam for that center area. So I see a lot of, oh, well, they look tiny on the, on the big cup sizes. They're just a little triangle. And again, it's only to cover that little center area and give you a little bit more coverage. So that's what you're going to need for the Fierce Bra. And I can't wait to see it sewn up.